Have you or your wife accidentally put the car keys through the washing machine? This one was on a full wash cycle. Uh, got accidentally put in the washing machine, came out like this, gone through the whole spin cycle as well. The emergency key had come out. And uh, perhaps not too surprisingly, the fob didn't work. Um, now I've got it working again. And as a useful tip for other people, I'm going to show you how I did that. So first of all, we need to split the case apart. So I think I did it from this end. So I've already, as I say, I've already fixed this key and confirmed that it does actually open the car. So get yourself a knife, get into this end of the key, use a little bit of force, leave the key apart like so. And here is the insides of the unit. Uh, when I first looked at it, it didn't look too bad, not a huge amount of water in it. Um, this one all prize off, it's held on by a couple of bits of melted plastic. Uh, it does actually have a water seal in here, so this little rubber ring, which we'll see in a minute, see around the, the edge there, does do a fair degree of water sealing, but through a whole wash cycle, hot and spinning, a little bit of water obviously got into the unit. And uh, what we need to do is uh, expel all of the water and clean up the board. This has worked a couple of times on car keys, surprisingly. Um, it's probably about 50-50 odds of whether you're going to get it working again. Because the problem is, with water on electrical circuits, with it actually powered up with the battery in place, uh, you can get all sorts of electrolytic reactions across the terminals. And you get a little bit sort of fuzzy, probably lead oxide or something like that forming between contacts, particularly on the integrated circuits, which can uh, short things out and stop it working. So the first thing I did was get something hot, like a soldering iron, on these little blobs of plastic. These were splayed out when I first opened it. Could, for instance, get the end of something metal, um, like um, I don't know, a knife or a fork, probably something a bit narrower than that. Put it on your kitchen hob, warm it up, press it on the end and lever up on the circuit board gently at the same time as you're heating that plastic and eventually it'll let go and you'll be able to get the board out. So as I said, I've already done that and was able to push it back over the plastic. So just to show you how much electronics is on there. So there's quite a few chips on there and uh, well, a couple of chips at least and a transistor or something. And then you've got this coiled unit thing. So what I did is first of all took out the battery that just slides out and then everything needs cleaning up and any water needs dispersing. So what seems to work reasonably well is a can of like WD-40 sort of thing, uh, oil maintenance spray, just squirt liberally and forcefully all over both sides of the board, in particular around the legs of the integrated circuits and try and get it underneath because that's where you get water trapped. I uh, did that, um, then I got a little paintbrush and gently brushed all over the circuit board to try and dispel any uh, bits of um, electrolytic oxide that had built up anywhere and then dabbed it off and wiped it off with a tissue. Did that both sides, cleaned off the battery as well, get a multimeter, measure the voltage of the battery check whether it's been discharged by uh, being shorted out. That is a little bit low, but not too bad. It's about um, 2.95 or something. So it could do with the replacing, but it does actually work. Uh, having done that and uh, removed any obvious signs of imperfection, uh, just pop the battery back in again. And what I did first was to measure the voltage when it's actually operating. So I just pushed out a little bit I put my meter in between the two sides of the battery to make sure it was still close to three volts when you press the buttons on here, which it was. And uh, that was it. Having done that, the fob started responding to the buttons and uh, everything was working again. So I could open the doors and the boot on my uh, Jaguar uh, F Pace. So that's it. I hope that helps somebody. Um, probably, as I say, not guaranteed to work every time. But um, it's worked a couple of times for me. Hopefully it'll work for you. Uh, reassembling, obviously it's just a straight reversal of uh, dismantling. Uh, what I would probably recommend is straightening off any burrs, like pull off any bits of plastic 
on these studs first. Push that back on again, that does go back on and then uh, melt the piece of plastic down afterwards. I should put that on first and then that hold that in place as well. And uh, then just push the case back together, it just clips back together. Nothing, uh, any screwing or gluing. So uh, that's it. That's probably saved quite a few hundred pounds on a new um, key fob and programming by the main dealer. Okay, I hope that works for you. And try not to beat your key fob through the washing machine. Thanks for watching. Bye.